Alright guys, so um, this is actually my second take on this video. This is going to be a team building guide for the Fusions banner, and it's going to consist of Barlot, Weirus, and Selza. Um, now I know I said in one of my other videos that I wasn't a big fan of Selza, and after doing a little bit of team building with him, I realized that he's actually a pretty damn decent character. Um, I'm not going to say he's one of the best, he's not He's not going to be known for hardest hitting, but uh, we're going to go over all that. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First we're going to talk about the three different cards, go over them, and then we're going to talk about a full Fusions team. and then we're going to go over individual team building for all of them. Uh, it's a little bit of a different layout this time, so let me know if you like it down in the comments below versus how I used to do it, uh, which is typically just the card, who they link with, uh, mono team, and then that's about it. Uh, so this is the Father and Son Limit Breakers Barlot. This is after he Hidoken Wakened. His leader ability, strength type key plus 3, attack and defense, plus 70% when HP is 30% or above. Super attack, spirit cannon, greatly raises one attack, or great, greatly raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill is Joined Souls. Attack plus 15% and defense plus 10% per per key sphere obtained. So essentially he is a nuker and he tanks pretty well if he's paired with the right people or gets enough orbs. Link skills are same warrior race, family ties, same pride, fused fighter, the same lineage, experienced fighters, and shattering the limit. His category is fusion and he has max stats of HP of 9021, attack of 8095, and defense of 4531 with a 12 key multiplier of 140%. Overall, he is a pretty damn solid unit. He is... It, he's one of those uh, units that, depending on who you run on your team, can teeter between have either being one of the primary units you're going to want to run, or a secondary unit if you don't have anyone else, um, or if you don't have anyone to fill in your last slot. Because that last slot, since we don't have the Super Saiyan 3 Adult Go Tanks on the global side, by the way, this is for global team building, because we don't have the Dragon Ball Heroes Adult Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks, um, essentially that last slot is open to who you like the best. But anyway, that's him. I think he's an overall solid unit. He is a little bit... His Doken Awakening makes him a little bit better than the average uh, Fusions character that's available from the Fusions, ca uh, from the Fusions banner uh, for Dragon Ball Fusions. Next one we're going to talk about is Double the Evil Selza. Leader ability is Intelligence, Type Key plus 2, Attack and Defense plus 60%. His Super Attack is Death Ball, causes Supreme Damage to the, to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. Passive skill, Evil Essence, Attack and Defense plus 70% with a high chance of Attack plus 30%. In addition, high chance of recovering 10% HP at the start of the turn. Now the reason why I didn't like that is because it's only Attack and Defense plus 70%, which if you know most units nowadays that are going to be Supreme Damage modifiers without the Greatly Raises Attack, or the gimmick of increasing attack for a specific amount of time, which you guys probably know by now, I don't really like that, uh, but he has an unconditioned 70% with a high chance of 30%, which means it's not always 100%. Most units will have 100%. But he also has a high chance of recovering 10% HP. I would have been okay with attack and defense plus 70 with a high chance of attack plus 30% if they made it a guaranteed 10% or lowered it down to maybe like 7% at the start of the turn. Regardless, his link skills, which I did find out, make up for it. Brilled Beat Town of 10%, Nightmare of 10%, Shocking Speed, Prodigies of 10%, Big Bad Bosses of 25%, and Fuse Fighter. So he has a really good, versatile, top-tier Link skill set. I mean, Brutal Beatdown, maybe not so much. There are certain characters that do have it, but Nightmare, Big Bad Bosses are definitely two primary Links that you're going to have on a Villains team. Uh, Shocking Speed and Fuse Fighter are definitely also, obviously for a Fusion team, they're going to have Fuse Fighter, uh, but Shocking Speed's also very common, and Prodigies can be because it's a Vegeta and a Frieza Link, though if you're going to be running a Villains team, Prodigies may not come up as often just because there's not as many Villains with Prodigies. Uh, but regardless, He's a good unit. He's only part of the fusions category. He has max stats of HP of 8705, attack of 9235, and defense of 3354 with a 12 key multiplier of 135%. Overall, again, very solid unit. So I retract what I stated before about him just because of his link skills. His link skills bring him up to that next step. So he's a he's just like below a top tier unit. Um, let's go ahead and talk about Weirus, unconventional fusion Weirus. Leader ability is physical type key plus two attack and defense plus 60%. Uh, uh, super attack is fear of destruction, causes supreme damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. His passive skill domination changes technique and intelligence key spheres to physical key spheres. Attack and defense plus 50%. So really the, the one thing that makes this guy so freaking unique and why everyone loves him so much is because of the fact he changes two types of key orbs to one type. So he is really good on an LR team. He's always going to be good on that LR team because of that, especially like physical LRs or LR Gohan. 
due to the fact he's making it, uh, giving them their advantage, their, their advantages, advantageous ad attribute type key sphere orb. Plus, he gives himself an, his own attack and defense plus 50%, but he's not going to be known for hard hitting. So, eh, whatever, you can, the secondary part of that passive kind of, it's, it's nice to have it, but overall, you're literally just keeping him there for his passive skill. Link skills are Godly Power, Connoisseur, The Innocence, Brainiac, Shocking Speed, and Fuse Fighter. Really not a great Link skill set. It only singles out Whis, Beerus, and Champa for the most part. Um, the Innocence is, is spread out between a few characters, but not too much. Uh, he will do good on a Godly Dimension team, though, which is not going to be part of this video, but when it comes out to Global, I'll be doing a full Godly Dimension team building guide. But he's part of Fusions and Godly Dimension with max stats of HP of 8520, attack of 8421, and defense of 4464. He has a 12 key multiplier of 135%. So that is all the units right there, the ones that we're going to be going over in this video anyway, because they're two new ones and then the new Dokkan Awakening. So in terms of Fusions category, this is the full Fusions team over here. So we can go ahead and zoom in a little bit, uh, just to bring it a little, make it a little bit bigger on your screen. We have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta as leader, and you can run any of these guys that you want to on this team. Uh, we're only going to be doing the TUR variant of all of these units, um, if there is one available. Uh, we're probably not going to touch upon all of them, but... You know, I like, like for instance, some of these guys, I believe one of these two go tanks between the technique and the intelligence, one of them changes key orbs. Uh, so, but I'm not, I'm not going to go over that. I will mention it. Uh, and we don't have the heroes version of Super Saiyan go tank. So there's really nothing you can do about that either. But uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into it. If you want to view this, I keep the URL available for you guys. So that way you could always know what website I'm using. It's dbc.space forward slash cards forward slash categories to get to the category section. Or you can just go to cards and click on categories, however you want to do it. It's just quicker for me to type in the URL for Dokkan Battle Builder. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and zoom in now. Uh, so there we go. It usually just takes a second to get zoomed in. All right, cool. So this is who we're working with right now, right? So this is like almost every fusion. I actually forgot to get um, Kariza in there. Kariza is always going to be good with a uh, uh, LR Frieza. So just keep that in mind. He will be good with LR Frieza on his team. Uh, outside of LR Frieza, he's not he's probably not the best linking buddy you could find. Oh, he's actually an SSR. He doesn't have a TUR. I can't wait for him to TUR. If he TURs, he'll make it so much better. He'll probably be uh, attack plus 100%. Uh, but anyway, there he is. I forgot to add him in here. So this is all the uh, essentially one-of-a-kind fusions we don't like. So for instance, like this Trunks, I mean this Gotenks over here, he essentially has all the same link skills as all the other Super Saiyan Go tanks. The reason why I didn't bring any of the other Super Saiyan Go tanks is because of that. I think the agility one is the only one that's different, who has supreme power. So that's only a flat out boost of attack and defense plus a thousand, so that's not too much. This Go tanks I brought here, even though we don't have him, he only shares one additional link skill, which is Budding Warrior, than the Technique one. So, you know, again, almost the spinning images of each other. Uh, we got all like the Caroli, we got um, Bullpen, and. Uh, there's this uh, Videl and Pan or something like that, whatever. And Chow Man. Now, Chow Man kind of sucks. He, he had like his use for like one world tournament, and then he just never was good after that. Oh, these guys are kind of getting off screen right now. We don't want that to happen. <laughs> uh, Alright, cool. So these are essentially everyone who you're going to want to run. Obviously, you're going to want the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta lead. In terms of support units, you definitely want to have her um, bullpen, or uh, was, you know what, I need to get her name right because I'm, I'm going to be getting this, uh, making myself upset. What is this, uh, Videl Pan Van? <laughs> if it wants to load for me. Uh, Pandel. Okay, there we go. So we have Pandel over here, and we have Bullpan. So those are two good support units. Personally, I don't like Bullpan because you don't need her because it's key support, which is definitely uh, antiquated, especially on a Fusions team, because if you're running a double Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta lead, you're going to have six key, and then everyone shares the Fusion link, which is additional two, so you get eight key total. You don't need her for key support whatsoever. I mean, if she's there, she's there. That's awesome. But you don't need her. So we could actually take her out. I just wanted to let you know that she is going to be good if you don't have any key support. Um, but we're going to remove her. Now, if you're whoever you're trying to run, we're going to remove Chow Man also. Just want to show him that he is here. We're going to remove him. He's not that great. Um, these are the three villain units for um, a, a Fusions team. Now, if you noticed that these guys don't share too many link skills with these, or at least Kariza doesn't share too many link skills with these guys. He shares his Fuse Fighter with each of them, and that's why I was saying Kariza isn't really that great. He doesn't share any real link skills with anyone on here, he just shares Fuse Fighter, so he is not going to be a primary unit that you're going to want on this team. 
Um, if you're running the two, these two together, they might be a little bit more viable. Let's see what they share. They share Cruelty, Shocking Speed, and Union Warrior, so at 10% up and then 4 key, so they're always going to be getting super attacks off, which is going to make them a little bit more viable. If we go over here and we take a look at this one, it's Janembu, I believe it is. Yeah, it's Janembu. So he has, essentially, his passive skill is Attack Enemy, Attack minus 30%. So he debuffs the enemy all the time, which makes him, meh, alright, not great. I don't really recommend running him on a team, but you can. They do link together, they give each other another attack for plus 10% up. Outside of that, um, they don't really link well. I think he has, he shares, what's this, shocking speeds. Because he has shocking speed, it makes him a little bit more viable. But he only shares one link skill with everyone except for him and Super Se or Weirus. Uh, and Weirus is also shocking speed as well. So we can remove these two, because I don't think these two are really good on running on one, one Fusions team. So now that we've broken it down, this is going to probably be one of the best Fusion teams you could run. Now, this Gogeta and the Intelligence one, we don't have Intelligence one on the global side. The only Link skill that the, 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 the Intelligence one has over the Strength one is Experienced Fighters, which actually does make them a little bit more viable, because I believe Weirus is the one with Experienced Fighters as well. Now this is the, again, more in-depth version of a Fusions team team building guide. We're still going to do with the individual ones after this. Um, uh, no, he actually doesn't have it. One of these guys has experienced fighters on on his... Oh, it's uh, Barlot. I'm sorry. Barlot has experienced fighters. So that makes it a little bit more viable. Um, Gogeta or the Intelligence one, good, obviously the Intelligence one over, the physical Go tanks and the physical Seal tanks. These two, these are going to be like three staples. Obviously, you're going to want to make sure that you have the Intelligence one if you have Intelligence. Gogeta is cool. He does hit pretty hard, but I would recommend having um, a Gogeta on the outside, like a little on main rotation and Seal of well, both this physical Go tanks on main rotation. You could run whoever you want with him. You could run this Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta with the other Gogeta, and you can run these two together if you want to, and those are going to be uh, your primary. Let's just keep it here as if this is your primary um, secondary rotation is really going to be up to you like you're all your floaters essentially um, i like having corolla because he is a super saiyan he does have the super saiyan link skill set he does give everyone super saiyan and fuse fighter which is 10 percent and two key thing is the super saiyan isn't really necessary for anyone else because it's only in an individual link skill um where it only affects the individual so it's only giving him an additional 10 percent up uh, you could easily out damage with other units uh, for this team specifically these are like four floaters that you have available for you bullpen again i don't like her that's why i took her out you definitely want pandel on this team because she's giving everyone um 30 percent support <laughs> unbridled uh you can throw barlon on here because of his passive skill of attack and defense increases plus i mean again he's not the best but when you get the intelligence gogeta he'll at least share an additional 10 percent out attack output uh, outside of that it's really up to you who you would want to run between any of the additional ones that I had spoken about before. Again, you can go over to the Fusion card category, see who you have. Uh, this is going to be one of the optimal setups for a Fusions team um, until you get something like the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, adult Gotenks, if we ever end up getting him. Regardless of that, um, it's up to you. I don't think you need the Weirus here because he doesn't attack that hard. And he, um, he the, the key orb manipulation is not needed on this team. Uh, Karoli will probably be your best bet. So honestly, in terms of fusions, what is available right now, probably this team, unless you want to throw one of the base form Go Tanks on there, um, like the I think the uh, which one is it? The agility? No, the the strength one. Doken awakens to a Tur, and when he Doken awakens, he is pretty viable as well. So you could throw him in there as well. That's the fusions team. Um, in terms of leader abilities, who he links with Barlot, because we're moving over to Barlot, now we're moving over to the individual units. Barlot does link with a couple of his units. Now, this is what I'm doing where it's a little bit more different. Um, instead of just doing his best linking buddies, this is going to be every single leader that, that can possibly lead this team, other than the fusions, because we already did that. Uh, he doesn't link well with Super Saiyan 4 Goku at all kind of stinks actually you'd figure that they would share at least one link skill so he's going to get some buffs barlots are definitely going to get some buffs on this team but he's not going to share the best link skills at all we're going to actually zoom in a little bit more because this thing is going to get a little bit smaller now um so we can remove super saiyan 4 goku over here in terms of you know linking with leaders omega oh, shenron the same thing and the same thing with the intelligence trunks who is a hero leader so this leads him leaves him with four different leaders or three different leaders uh, LR Broly, he links really well with, and I know you can, you actually do more damage output. I know that there was a Reddit post about this. I don't think I ever did a video on it, but um, the LR Broly led team does more damage than a Super Saiyan 4 Goku team, but you need to have Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 3 Goku 
on top of LR Broly, and I believe it was TUR Broly. So you'd have to have some floaters. Regardless, though, he does link with Broly for um, Saiyan Warrior Race and Saiyan Blood. It's only one keen 700 flat on boost. Not the best, but, you know, it's better than nothing like he had with the other leaders. Um, the Super Vegito or Vegito Blue is Fused Fighter. And the LR Goku, this is the one for the Thousand Day Reward is um 10 for so so soldier warrior i'm not, that's probably um i don't even know what the heck that is actually let's go over and take a look at it 10 percent up all oh, experienced fighters that's what that is so he has the experienced fighters link and he has uh saiyan warrior race or saiyan i'm um, sorry saiyan blood the saiyan lineage again not the best but 10 percent link is still better than nothing uh, so that's him. These are the three different leaders he's going to link with. No one's really going to have this LR Goku. Maybe a few of us will have him. We've been playing the, the game since it came out. Um, I know on the global side, I'm very close to it. He's not on global, so he can't really be taken there. So these are his three best linking buddies in, in terms of leaders. In terms of Mono Strength Team, these are his best linking buddies. We have Fasha over here, and obviously because he is, um, you know, Bardock, he's a, a mixture of Bardock and, and Kakarot. I don't know where the hell the L came from. Kakarot, you know, Kakarot? Um... Yeah, it was a Kakarot, Goku, and Bardock. Where is the L? I don't know. But whatever. <laughs> it's actually funny. Um, Battle Ethic Saiyan, Saiyan Blood, Saiyan Pride. Saiyan Pride is really good because not a lot of people have it. It's usually a couple of Vegetas, and then it's usually all of Team Bardock, or like the OG Saiyans, 100% full-blooded Saiyans, other than Goku. Uh, Will to be succeeded, which is the fam family ties, which is good, which is key plus two, Saiyan Pride again. Uh, so for a mono team, he is, for a mono strength team, he does have some good linking buddies, especially like this Gotenks is pretty decent for a secondary unit if you're looking to run a secondary unit. Um, three link skills shares, three key and 700 attack, and actually the, one of the primary support units for a mono strength team is going to be Kaba, which is not out on the global side yet, but he does share 15% of for Saiyan Pride and attack plus one, per, uh, well, key plus one. So overall, you're going to have some good linkers or good primary or secondary units that you're going to want to link with him. So like this Kaba is the secondary unit, this Gotenks is, a, or sorry, this Kaba is a primary unit, this Gotenks is a secondary unit. Bardock is a primary unit. Unfortunately, his TUR variant doesn't share three link skills with him, which is really, you know, that sucks. Um, I wonder which one of these actually gets taken off. Battle, same warrior race, whatever. Either way, um, doesn't link well with him. And Fasha, you're only going to really run on that team, possibly, if you don't have the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, just because she gives uh, that Goku the additional support for Saiyan Roar. But yeah, that is the Barlock guys. Now we're going to go over to Saliza. So these are all of the linking buddies that you could actually run with. Well, actually, I think I did miss one of the leaders over here, which was uh, the Technique Mass and Bardock, but I don't think, uh, you know, let's just throw him on here uh, just to play it safe because I don't want anyone calling me out on that. <laughs> um, yeah, so Mass and Bardock is also an additional leader. Uh, I know a little bit out of order. Sorry about that, guys. Apologize. I'm going to need to go and uh, update the um, Saliza one next because uh, <laughs> I forgot one of them as well on, on his. So, Mass Saiyan Bardock is an extreme leader over here with the flat-out boost. Um, he link has two key links with Barlot, which is Battle Ethic Saiyan and Saiyan Blood. Again, nothing too major. But, okay, cool. Now that we did that, we're going to go ahead and jump into Saliza. So, let me just get this all organized. I'll be back in two seconds. All right, so we got this all organized and set up. I did forget to bring the LR Goku into it, so I brought him in there as well. LR Goku does not link with Saliza whatsoever, so we're going to take him out. Um... Outside of that, he links with all of his other leaders a little bit better. I know I forgot to bring the Baba unit into the other bar lot, so we're not going to go over that with him with the Master Roshi, uh, but we're just going to continue over here. Sorry, I know you don't see the um, Mertsumasu over here. So, in terms of leaders, we do know that we will in the future have the um, Bojack. Bojack only shares one linking ability with him, and is a, I believe it's a flat-out boost, which is... Oh no, it's Big Bad Boss, so he's pretty decent with that. Plus, he already gets four keys, so you don't really need the key support for him, but he's not on the global side. I just wanted to make sure I mentioned him, um, so he's not needed over here. Um, Mass and Bardock only shares one with him, which is Cruelty Attack plus 10% up. That's really awesome. I like that. Um, the Super Saiyan Rose, Big Bad Bosses, and Nightmare, which is really actually nice. Uh, like I said, he is really good for a villain's team because of all that uh, attack buff support that he's giving everyone. Uh, Merge the Masu, he also has the Fuse Fighter, so he has Big Bad Bosses, I believe Union Warrior, yeah, and Nightmare, which again is nice flat-out boost, or, yeah, oh, sorry, nice percentage-based increase on his attack, plus he gives the key support. Uh, in terms of Kid Buu and Buhan as leaders, he links both well with both of them, and obviously if you have Kid Buu and Buhan, you're going to run the Kid Buu lead, 
with Buon because they share some link skills. They share together Big Bad Bosses and Shocking Speed, and Kid Boo and him Big Bad Bosses and Cruelty. So nice, nice flat out boot buffs, or sorry, nice percentage based buffs. Uh, Deborah is an extreme type, and he does Cruelty and Nightmare as well, which is awesome for a 20% attack increase. And it actually, he does share a link skill with LR Gohan, which is Shocking Speed. Again, you're probably not going to want to run Saliza on that team unless you don't really have anyone else. He is a good unit for giving off attack buffs. Uh, but for a hero, like this LR Gohan, you're probably going to have more heroes than you are anything. If you don't, you could always attach Saliza with like Kid Buu if you have him, or Buhan if you have him for a mono intelligence team, or if you really don't have him, then you could throw him on with Deborah. Overall, he is a really nice attack buffing Link, uh, or has a nice skill set to, to increase attacks. Um, so over here, this is we're going to go ahead and do some filtering for what cards he links best with on a mono team, a mono intelligence team, and that is going to help us decide whether he's good or not. So on mono intelligence team, he hooks up with this Vegeta really well. Uh, Vegeta is going to be a primary staple on the team. He gives attack, essentially hits off all the attack links with Vegeta, which is freaking phenomenal. That's what, 30% flat out buff all the time when they're linked together plus an additional 25% when HP is 80% or below. He is awesome with Vegeta. Uh, with the Intelligence Janemba, he's going to be hitting for attack plus 10%, so, so he gets off 20% all the time with Janemba, and he gets the 25% when HP is 80% or less, and Shocking Speed. Him and this Intelligence Janemba on a mono team, um, let's say you're, unless you're like missing, if you only have one uh, like Kid Buu and you can't find a Kid Buu friend, or if you have a Buhan and you have your Buhan with a Kid Buu friend, then you could link up Janemba with this Kur or Kuriza, which would be awesome. Not Kuriza, um, Saliza. <laughs> uh, the other ones are going to be the Android 17, or the only other one is going to be the Android 17. Uh, so Android 17 is really useful over here, but again, he's not going to be primary unit you could run. He will be up there in the higher ranks as a like a support unit or as a secondary unit. He shares 10% attack buffs and flat up or a two key buff for shocking speed. So overall, on a mono intelligence team, Saliza is going to do pretty well. And you know what, just because he does share all of the link skills with extreme units, we're going to remove that and we're just going to take a look at who he links with. We're going to actually put him up to four. Uh, because I know he does have a couple others. And it's really just the Janembas I want to point out. Um, I didn't do this with the bar lot, so you know, don't don't try to cru don't, please don't crucify me for that. Uh, the reason I didn't do that is because he's not going to be a primary unit on a Heroes team, and he doesn't really have as many good links um, on a Heroes team. It, it's more because uh, uh, Kariza or uh, Saliza stands out. He, as you saw, he does share a lot of 3 plus key links, or sorry, attack links with a bunch of units, um, but we're going to stick to four more, and essentially the other Janembas, the Strength TUR Janemba and the Agility Janemba, which is a Doken Awakening from the Fat One that is not available as of yet. So that's where we are at with him. Very, very good unit. I recommend having him for those attack buffs. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and jump into the Weirus, and I have to really redo the Dokkan stats or the Dokkan Battle Builder, because it never loads properly for me, so I'm going to go do that. I'll be right back. Alright guys, so we're all set with Weirus. Let's go ahead and talk about his best linking buddies in-game. So as you see over here, we have, obviously like I stated before, we have all the Beeruses, which link well with him. Um, and we have the Whis, which links really well with him. Uh, well, the two Whises, technically. Four plus key links is going to be all of them. Uh, one of these two Beeruses is the Dokkan variant of the SR Whis. I just want to make sure I mention that. I don't know which one's which. It looks like they just mirrored the image. Uh, a little bit, anyway. Uh, the, the three... Beeruses that are Dokkan exclusives. Well, this one's actually World Tournament, I believe. Uh, but they share exactly the same link skill set. The Innocent, Shocking Speed, Gourmet, and God's Dimension, which is a nice 25% flat-out buff, or a percentage-based buff between all of them, or each of them. Shocking Speed, which keeps us to it, and HP Recovery. So he actually does do some decent link skills with them. Um, this beast is definitely a really notable free-to-play unit because he does heal everyone when HP drops below a certain point. I believe it was like 30% or something like that. Um, Brainiacs, he shares 10%. Um, God Dimension is another 15%, so that's 25% uh, boost as well. So if you have him in the middle between a Beerus and a Whis, he's going to be getting 35% key buff, which is really awesome. And then he also shares 5% uh, HP recovery and shocking speed. Overall, really solid unit. I'm not going to go over the Undokan TUR variants of them. They share all the same link skill sets. 
So that is who he links best with in game. Obviously, these are going to be all good on a heroes team if you're making a godly team. Uh, I guess this also works for a godly dimension team, but we're not going to be doing that here with him. We'll wait for that team to come out. Um, again, I did want to state also he does really well with LRs, um, such as the LR Trunks and the LR Gohan, because he does have that passive skill. Um, now, in terms of a mono physical team, these are the best leaders, or not a mono physical team, these are the leaders for his team. Um, in terms of best one for a team, Massey and Bardock, no link skills with. Uh, this Trunks over here, no link skills with. It sucks, I mean, kind of a little bit, but he shares no link skills with Broly. I know he's one of the most condemned cards in game. He is a decent character. Uh, definitely the lowest rated of the four OG 70% leaders, but he doesn't share any link skills with him. So that leaves him over here, and he shares no link skills with this LR Goku as well. So he this leaves him with your choice between these three guys, at, uh, between all three of these, which is two link skills with the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, which is the Innocence and Union War, which isn't that bad, honestly. Um, the LR Trunks, which is a shocking speed, not horrible. Uh, it doesn't give him any attack buffs, which really stinks, but he's probably going to be a floater for you anyway for key orb manipulation. And if you throw this Trunks in the middle, he'll at least get an additional two key, which is really awesome. And Fused Fighter, which is for the uh, Heroes team for with Super Vegito Blue. So again, you're obviously only going to probably want to run this Weirus on uh, as a floater anyway. He's not going to link that much or that well with other people. Uh, but yeah, that's for his leader build, or the ones he links well with on the leaders. Uh, in terms of a mono team, let's go ahead and take a look who he links with when he does three or more key. Uh, it's only Champa and <laughs> Whis. If you drop it down to two, he does have a lot more. But again, for two link skills, it's not going to really be worth pairing him up with anyone. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's it. Those are the three primary units that I want to talk to you about. I hope that was really informative and helped you out. This was a little bit of a longer video. Let me know if you like the more in-depth breakdown um, as opposed to my other videos or if you want me to revert to go into a shorter video because my shorter videos are usually about you know 15 to 20 minutes as opposed to this one, which is probably about 25 minutes long. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you all later.